as Scott Howell would say, he'd spill his whole candy in the lobby. Yara Gravier is the principal and founder of the Bunker Insurance and Risk Management in South Florida. She is an equal combination of sweet and spicy. She is the nicest person you'll ever meet, but will cut you off at the knees if you're her competitor. Known for her content creation and branding prowess, she is going to bring a level of competition to this game that we have not seen before. Derek Hayden is season one's winner of The Protégé. Based out of Shelbyville, Illinois, Derek is a natural-born cold-blooded killer. This guy has been killing stuff since he was a baby, and he is not going to stop now. Derek brings a level of intensity to the protege that's needed in the insurance industry, and anyone lucky enough to be on his team will benefit from that intensity. Sloan, you're a good dude. But that East Coast swagger and those tight t-shirts don't scare me none. I'm coming after you in season two. And Keating, that Connecticut mullet smells. You know what it smells like? <laughs> Another second or third place finish. Team Derek's coming back hotter than ever for season two. Whoever ends up on my team's taking home the trophy. I'll see y'all in the draft. Justin Sloan from Meriden, Connecticut from BSP Insurance is a season one finalist of the protege and will do an amazing job as a coach. His knowledge of quote bind issue products, the real estate investment space, as well as the vertical that he built for health tech cyber insurance is going to take someone's game to the next level if they're lucky enough to be chosen by Mr. Sloan. Mick Hunt is an industry icon, having built and sold several agencies, the most recent being for over $3 million in agency revenue annually. He is now the founder of Premier Strategy Box, one of the country's number one agency consulting firms. To say that somebody's going to have a great time and learn a ton on his team is the understatement of the year. We are proud to have Mick Hunt as one of our coaches in season two. Ryan Keating is everybody's drinking buddy from college, but the truth is when this guy puts his nose to the grindstone, his work product is fantastic. As a season one protege finalist, Mr. Keating is going to bring his experiences, his quirkiness, and his ability to turn out great reports and data to a team that will be lucky to have him as their coach. All right, guys and gals, it's hunting season, and we're coming for Sloan and Mr. Derek Hayden, season two of The Protégé. We're about to win this, and we're looking for the best applicants. I don't know who my other coaching partner is going to be yet, but we're going to win, and we're going to help those who have the desire to succeed. Steven Sedlak is a partner at Schmale Insurance in St. Louis, Missouri, but that's not where he's limited. He has a pallet program nationwide where he insures pallet manufacturers, but most importantly, he is a work compologist and the author of the book, The Work Comp Effect. This guy is as deadly as they get on the streets. He's somebody that's 100% my prototype as an ex-ADP sales rep, and his team will be lucky to have him as a coach on season two of The Protégé. Now, a lot of people have asked me who the coach pairings are going to be and how am I going to do it this year. And last year it was really, really cool because I took an influencer and I took a worker bee and I put them together. This person got the word out, this person got the work done, and they worked as a team and it worked out really, really well. So when you pair kind of opposites together, 
you end up with real magic from a coaching perspective. So this season, I took somebody who's a technical person and, and tactician and somebody who's a creative and we're putting those people together and I can only imagine the art that's gonna be created on the blank canvas that's in store. I gotta tell you who the coaches are, who's my technical person and who's my creative. So here you go, it's the moment that I know the contestants and all the coaches have been waiting for your coach pairings. First out of the box, my man, Mick Hunt from Premier Strategy Box, King of Process, is paired with one of my favorite entry videos from season one of The Protege, Mr. Ryan Keating. They're gonna bring a mix of Ryan's creativity and mixed process driven business model to The Protege and they're gonna take their team to the next level. The second team is Mr. Justin Sloan and Ms. Ciara Gravier from South Florida. And if you have known anything about these two, you know that Justin brought his A game in season one and Ciara is one of the best branding people in the entire insurance industry and I'm proud to call her my friend. Last but not least, America's Heartland is well represented. As my buddy Jason Katz says, America's Kitchen is the Midwest. We've got Mr. Steven Sedlak and the original protege, Mr. Derek Hayden, bringing in the third team representing America's Heartland. I am beyond amped to see what these coaches are gonna be able to do with the contestants that we have. It is a recipe for absolute magic, and I am humbled to be part of it. All right, man, so you got your, uh, you got your draft list ready? I got my draft list, I got my notes. I, I did my homework, man. Perfect. Well, really all I did was, I didn't really number them yet. I have a few that I think have a chance to win. And then there's a lot that kind of fall in in that second tier for me. And there's a few right. who I don't think will make the cut. So I've kind of got them like number one picks, middle tier, and then people who I, I think probably won't get picked. But we'll see. I kind of got it. I kind of got it the same way, or at least close, um, very similarly broken down with nobody ranked in order of, of yeah. my thinking, more along the lines of where I feel like they they fit in. Right. Okay. Perfect. So if if we had the very first pick, who do you think we would you would take? So I got a list of about four of them here. I got okay. Abby Johnson, Andy Warner, Sean Kirby, Ryan Smith that are, that I kind of feel like are in, the, in my group one was my thoughts. Okay. Um, to me, it would probably be between Sean Kirby and Ryan Smith. That's, that's who I got at one and two as well. For me, I just want to know like your thoughts. How do we solidify who wins? So my thought was when I did it by tier, it's hard to try to rank people one through whatever um yeah yeah <clears throat> but the biggest thing i think is people one sticking through mm -hmm. the process as well as the willingness to learn but also then the time suck that some people might take because that was a big thing i saw with two of the guys on my team and also hearing from some others um that makes sense and there's definitely some people that you could just tell on video right Right? Yeah. Like when you got an eight minute bio video, it's like, okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I watched the videos and then the bio videos as well. And then just kind of listen to what they said. Like I, so for me, right. Like coaching producers, as long as I have, and like getting producer success, like there's certain things that I look for, right? Like, are you in a niche market? Can you get into a niche market? So that's kind of how I looked at things first. Do you have an entrepreneur spirit, right? Because being a producer can be a lonely world, right? Like being in sales can be lonely. So it's the same thing as being a business owner, right? Like it's, it's um, it, it can be a little bit lonely too. So I look at that and then I look at just overall charisma, right? Because then can you, can you get in front of people? Can you 
walk the walk a little bit. And that charisma means a lot to me. So like, that's what I look for. So niche market, the entrepreneur spirit, the charisma, like those are the, the three things that stand out to me the most. Rock Lake Insurance Group is an online trucking MGA. You heard that right, online trucking MGA. We harness the power of technology and analytics to help you create a risk profile for your insured. The one thing you cannot create more of is time. With our rating platform, you get time back. No more creating apps, sending in a submission, and then waiting. You can get into our Raider and have a bindable policy within minutes. Endorsements are the same. Get into the Raider, make the endorsement, and have it back in your hands in less than five minutes. Why waste time chasing when you're bored to sell and close deals? To find out more, contact us at rlig.com. Do, uh, do we have team names? Do you guys make up team names yet? That's your call, man. What? That's your call with your co- your coaching partner. Wait, you guys did a PowerPoint too? <laughs> 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 yeah, flashback. Right. Here we go. I'm going to fold these up. He's going to pull them out. He's going to he's going to pick one. He's going to pick the second one. And then whoever the third one is picks twice in a row, just like we did on season 1. So if you get first pick, it's good. But if you get third pick, it might be better because you get third. Oh, okay. Well, if we're going to do that, hold on. (laughs) I'm ready when you guys are. Derek, a sad day happened. What happened? I threw the mullet out. No. Did it fall apart? It was getting a little nasty. Oh. There's new ones to be bought. Yep. I know what I'm getting you for Christmas. We got the championship belt and the intercontinental (laughs) championship belt here. There we go. Oh, so so <laughs> does the coach get one as well? Well, this is whoever wins, man. IPFS just decided they wanted yeah. to go ahead and make, be the official belt provider of. Uh... <laughs> well, when Ryan and I win, Premier Strategy Box will also create belts for the coaches. How about? Oh, that? it doesn't matter. I can make sure that everybody gets belts if they want belts. <laughs> Money is better. All right, here we go. First pick. How about that? First pick is team number one. Who's okay. first team? Who's team the first team one. I announced? Keating. It was Mick. Yeah, huh? and it was Mick and Keating. Yep. Right. So Mick and Keating, yep. you guys are first. So, so mm. Cap- Captain Insano's Dojo of No Mercy. <laughs> and then, yep. so this is insane, man. I picked in order, one, two, and three. So the second <laughs> team that I announced goes second, and the third team uh, goes third. I'm pretty sure Sloan, Sloan and um, – Ciara yeah. were second, and then Hayden and Sedlak were third. So it's okay, here we Sedlak. Go. I was I'll picked third. That. I was picked third in season one, so I think we're good. Yeah, I'll take that. All right, you guys are on the clock with the first pick. Uh, how hey, long is the clock? We're ready. How, how long is the clock? And can we trade picks? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> with the first pick of the 2021 Protege Draft, the team that's going to win it all. Captain in Sano's Dojo of No Mercy. Selects. Go ahead, Ryan. The, the one and only, uh, fitting for his future that he has been building. God, I'm on the edge of my seat, man. The, Come on, spit it out. Well, it's, it's supposed to be suspenseful, right? <laughs> we could do that in editing. Uh, the youngest guy in the entries, wow. Mr. Jonathan Lugo. Jonathan is 19 years old, but do not count this young buck out. This kid is a silent assassin. Oh, wow. Welcome oh, to the wow. winning team. Interesting first pick, wow. man. Nice. Jonathan Lugo, who is a dead ringer for Kenny from We're the Millers, is the first <laughs> <Yes>. pick <laughs> yes. in the protege draft. Wow. That he actually took- nicknamed him Kenny on our draft board, too. So, <laughs> there you go. Listen, and, and, and I've, I've met about half of these people in person, and Jonathan's one of them. And that's a really strong pick. It's not what I would have expected, but I'm not going to argue it at all, yep. knowing him and knowing the agency that he's coming from, which coincidentally, he has a teammate that's also in the draft. Mm-hmm. That's what I thought, yeah. Hey, David, right, cool. stop, stop, stop trying to give away strategies here, sir. Come on now. <laughs> All right, team two, you're up. Team two is Sierra and me, and we picked uh, – well, actually, hold on, hold on. 
We are called the Cold Blooded Coaches, CBC. Of course. So that's our team name. <laughs> And we're here to dominate. So the second pick of the protege for season two is going to be Mr. Ryan Smith. Ryan Smith is coming into the protege with a lot of buzz around his name. A lot of people pick Ryan to win this season, but this guy's coming in with a lot of eyes on him. Ah, Ryan Smith. I'll give you a little tip of the glove box tumbler to that. Even though they're not sponsoring this in any way, shape or form, <laughs> I just like him. <laughs> Ryan Smith's a solid first pick. If I would have guessed, I would have thought Ryan would have been one of two that I would have thought would have been first. All right. Does that mean number three is up? Number three is up and up again. Okay. Sedlak, you want me to take it or do you want it? Take the pleasure. Go ahead. Okay. Well, Team Illinois boys with a Z. <laughs> boys with a Z. Uh, we'll select with our first pick, Mr. Sean Kirby from Indiana. Wow. I have followed Sean for a while now, so I got to tell you, keep your eyes peeled because this guy is a winner and he's here to get what's his. Solid Our mock pick. draft has played out to a T, Ryan. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> yep. I love the fact you guys yeah. did a mock draft, by the way. Can we guess who you take fourth? Is that kosher? No. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we got the next pick in, right? Yep. So with the, I guess with the fourth pick, Team Illinois boys will take Andy Warner. Ah. What I like most about Andy is the fact he's not willing to settle for anything less than success. All right, we're up again. So our second pick for Team Cold Blood Coaches is going to be Miss Sarah Rice. Ah, interesting. Okay. When it comes to decision time, Sarah Rice is going to go get what's hers. You need to pay attention to what she's doing on the street because she's coming for your clients. It's 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 shocking protege news. We have <laughs> teammates competing. All right. Um, so now we're going back to back here, right? Yes. I'll take I'll take the first one. You can take the second. All right. So, our sleeper pick, who we love has fallen to us in this draft, the one, the only, Miss Abby Johnson. The reason I picked Abby Johnson as a finalist is because she had probably the most open, honest, and transparent video. Uh, let's go. Oh, nice. Cross insurance out in Washington. Okay. All right. So, hmm. Now it gets fun. And then it'll go. So, yeah. Um, we're going to have to go with Miss Karen Seifert. Karen Seifert comes to the insurance industry from a completely different industry, but she's not new to sales. South Florida, Karen. Get some warm weather. Got it. I thought I thought Ciara was going to grab her. She might be a little upset about that. She's, she that, fell off somehow. That, that's why she left. Yeah, she knew. <laughs> she knew <laughs> you were going to take her pick. <laughs> she, she, she's leaving it now all in Sloan's hands. Jeez. <laughs> all right. Yeah, that's a recipe for disaster. There's a, reason, there's a reason the two of you aren't coaches together, by the way. <laughs> all right. Our third pick for the season two protege is going to be. She's coming back on oh. if you want to wait just a second. All right. She she gave me full power of attorney on picks. So uh, I'm sorry. Okay, that's yes, fine. I'm sorry. Yeah, she's bad. My internet died. I'm sorry. Good. <laughs> he, Justin forfeited your picks, Yara, just so you know. Oh, yeah. well. <laughs> he traded it for the, the 15th contestant that has not oh. been uh, named yet. <laughs> Our third pick is going to be Mr. Kevin. I'm going to slaughter his last name. Hopefully not. Leipzig. Kevin has got real world experience, patience, and also the ingenuity necessary to build a great business and win the protege. Leipzig, I think. Probably. Leipzig. I'll, I'll learn it very quickly, I'm sure. So he's our third pick. Contractor Resource Center. 
I like where you guys right. are headed. You're up, Hayden. Illinois boys. Do we get two picks now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. With this our your team here. There we go. With our third pick, we're taking the wild and crazy Brian McCall. I can't wait to see what this wild man brings to the competition. Wild and crazy is a very good description of this guy. John John Spoggy's long lost brother. Hold yeah. on a second. <laughs> oh my god. Actually, so I did I thought I had it here. I don't have it at the office. It must have been it must be sitting in my dresser at the house. In his video, he had a hat that said kill shot, Carruthers underneath it. <laughs> And on the back, it's got the um, Killing Commercial logo on the back, and he brought one to me at Innovation. He chased he me around it. all Innovation for a copy of my book, so we, we've <laughs> met many times down there. There you go. <laughs> he also called out Sloan pretty good on his little video. <laughs> <laughs> Verticals, right. what are those? <laughs> All right, I guess our next pick will be uh, the Illinois boys will be Mr. John Lyons. I look forward to watching just how far John Lyons can go, because he certainly can make it all the way if he wants to. Dude, how do you guys not pick this guy right here? Did everybody get this? That was pretty impressive. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. That's a pro move right there by Lyons. He did well. I like it. All right, and so that, that's one team that's set, right? Like your team's locked and loaded. You're done. We're good. We're done. One of the winners just got picked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that's back to Team Cannibal Whoop Ass. <laughs> team um, Runner Up. Oh, God. Lions was probably the one that would have taken right there. Um, oh, it's it's Sloan and Ciara. Yeah, we're okay. up. We're up. I'm just looking. Yeah, just let Keating uh, keep talking. He'll give you his whole strategy. Know, I was <laughs> like, "Stop, bro! Chill out." We went to dinner last night. I was trying to get his. Uh, Thank God, Mix on the call, man. He did just spilled his whole. As Scott Howell would say he spilled his whole candy in the lobby. Ryan uh, drank. Right. Ryan drank iced tea last night, so he didn't really open up too much. <laughs> All right, let's see. Our fourth pick is going to be uh, Miss Crystal Decker. Don't stop believing, Crystal. I believe that you have everything you need to win this thing. There you go. All right. So, So this is the last pick, right? Yep. There's three folks left. And there's two people that are not going to like us, but... Yeah, it's tough, right? So we've got Karen, Brian, Brian Karen and got Brad. Picked. No, no, there's two Karen. Karen never got picked. No, no, I'm saying who's left. Oh, there's three yeah, people there left. is. There is a Karen left. Yeah. Yeah. There's Karen, there's Ryan, and there's Brad, right? So mm-hmm. I don't need anybody to at me and Ryan <laughs> here because Derek, Steven, Sierra, and Justin also had the opportunity to pick you guys, okay? <laughs> this out there. I'm glad it's on your shoulders, Mick, though. Hey, Just... that's what I'm here for. <laughs> hey, we'll show you our draft board. You took some that, uh, you know. Yeah, we, we've stayed true to our board. Yeah. All the drama's ending right here. Unless there's a curveball, the very last pick <laughs> of the 2021 Protege draft, Mr. or Mrs. Irrelevant is <laughs> Karen Gian. Karen Gian has every tool she needs to win this competition. Oh. Wow. So the teams, hold on a second. We got somebody nosing around the waiting room. (laughs) Oh, no. Oh, Oh, no. (laughs) What? Oh, what's so? So, so he gets doing? the losers. I mean, the, the two that didn't get drafted. <laughs> what? Oh, hold on. What's the deal? 
It's the freaking mayor of insurance town. The mayor showed us. What's up? What's up? (laughs) Well, so guess what, people? There's a fourth team. What? Oh, Oh, no. (laughs) We got got the mayor. Get ready, boys and girls. We wrapped the draft up so early that you hadn't seen his coaching partner, Mr. Ariel Rivera, yet. But. They're going to take the two people you guys didn't because they think they're that good at coaches. And what we got, we got a ringer coming back from season <laughs> one that we're putting on their team. Annabelle is coming back. No for way. Season Hi, two. everyone. <laughs> hey, Annabelle. Oh, Welcome boy. back. Hi, you guys. Freaking fan good. favorite. And there's a player. To be named. There's a player to be named later that I'm still in contract negotiations with. So stay tuned. <laughs> There's four teams of four, so everybody that was in the top got through. Plus, we have Annabelle and a player to be named later, so the teams are ready to roll. I hope you guys are ready. And I ain't got anything else. This is your last chance for Smack Talk. Go down the line. <laughs> hey, I just right. want to make got, sure, David, got an extra that team to, th- to this, take new, the fall this, this new team that's here, they've got the same salary cap that we all have, right? Like, you're not giving <laughs> them extra funds to build their team or anything. Right? Hey, they're they're taking, the, they're taking the leftovers that you guys discarded. I mean, I don't know wow. what kind of sympathy Dang. you're wanting. but and It's, uh, it's going to be real sad, man, because I wiped the floor with the leftovers you didn't want. I'm going to wipe the floor. <laughs> Peace. Heath. Get ready. Get ready. Heath. We can go Amex to Amex, bro. We can put money on this live at the draft right now. I can, Maybe we should put a I'm dance off on it. Oh. oh, whoa, 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 CR. I just heard a dance off. You know I I'm said, down I for don't know. Off. I mean, I think That's we right. should I put I get Keating off. on my team then if we're doing a dance off. I saw him. I, saw him right I don't know. I, uh, I saw Keating's dance moves in Hartford, and I don't know that I would necessarily. <laughs> you have it. Uh, you have it on drone footage. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Mayor. I'm I'm showing up to the next town hall meeting, and you're gonna hear me during the public comment. Okay, you know, it's it. uncalled for, but I'm I'm accepting <laughs> the challenge. Hey, hey, it's self elected. I run unopposed every year, baby. <laughs> Good deal. So here's the deal, guys. We now have the team set. There is one player to be named later. I just they couldn't be on the call today, so I'll announce that at the appropriate time. I caramba, are there some people who are in for a treat? We are bringing the insurance industry's big pun, Mr. Ariel Rivera, to the protege as a coach this year. He's not a player, people. He just crushes a lot, and I can guarantee you he's bringing his A game to his team. Heath Sharon is rounding out our coaches this season. Heath comes with a number of years of industry experience across a number of roles. Currently, he is the host of the Insurance Town podcast, where he is the self-proclaimed mayor of Insurance Town. Heath is going to bring his eclectic level of experience and unmatched creativity to the protege and drive significant value to his team. Annabelle Amazon was one of my favorites in season one, and I just couldn't get her comfortable with the camera. I don't know why, she's good. She's even better as a salesperson. So I decided that I was gonna throw a little monkey wrench into things, and I invited her to come back for season two. Hi everyone, my name is Annabelle Amazan. Uh, Some of you might remember me from the last season of The Prodigy. I'm very grateful that David gave me another opportunity to be part of the Prodigy this season. Uh, This season I'm back because I am ready to overcome my fears of being in video or camera. Uh, Last season, I put a lot of stress on myself uh, because I truly dislike being in camera. It's not something that I enjoy. Uh, So I put a lot of stress on myself and I didn't enjoy the process. And this time, I'm very grateful that I was given another opportunity and I need to overcome this fear. Mitch Gibson was a wild card this season. He's not part of the draft, but you need to know who he is. He's somebody that I handpicked and reached out to after I didn't get a submission from him because I think he has what it takes. 
My name is Mitch Gibson. I'm with HRM Insurance Services in New Palestine, Indiana, just east of Indianapolis, about 25 miles. Uh, born and raised here in Hancock County, was a Greenfield Central graduate, uh, class of 2014. I went to Ball State University to study telecommunications and sales with promotion as a minor. Um, and I also played baseball there as a pitcher and middle infielder. Playing college baseball at Ball State University was not only just a dream come true, um, but I tell you every single day in this job, in this career, and in this industry, um, there's not a day that goes by that I don't incorporate the game of baseball with something I, I learned from either a coach, a player, uh, a trainer, uh, no matter who it was, our bus driver. Um, those relationships that I built with those gentlemen uh, and the things that they taught us along the way, uh, just basic baseball skills and life skills that will carry on with you uh, in your professional career. That is the most true thing I have ever been told. Next week on The Protégé. Don't do it for the show. Onward and upward. We're gonna go for the win on this. You're kind of already a step behind. That's disgusting. Grew up in Cedar Rapids, man. <laughs>